Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Wareva.com. You know, there are many mother sauces. That is, the foundations of sauces. One of the sauces is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is very widely used in dressings and various sauces. So today I'm going to teach you how to make this simple mayonnaise. Before you make a mayonnaise, you should understand that we are going to use raw egg yolks in making mayonnaise. So the first and foremost important thing is to make sure that you use fresh egg yolks. Eggs are very notorious for food poisoning, but when you use the eggs the right way, you will never have that problem. The very simple way of knowing if the egg is fresh, that means the egg which is a week old is considered to be fresh. All you need to do is put it in water and if you see the egg has settled down at the bottom. If the egg settles down at the bottom, if it's not standing up, sometimes if the egg is little older, it will start standing up and if egg is very old, it will float on top. You can see this egg, this is a fresh egg because it is lying flat at the bottom. That means this is a fresh egg. We are going to take eggs which are fresh and we are going to separate the yolks. It is very easy to separate egg whites and yolks. All you need to do is break this egg in the center and uh, just transfer this out like this. And we are going to separate the egg yolk and the egg white. Separate it out and see there is a small string like thing that is there in the attached to the egg yolk. Try to remove that also. That way it will be very easy. See, I have got the egg yolk without any traces of egg white. So I am going to do one more egg. Okay, I have got one more egg yolk. I didn't have a mustard powder so I am just taking little mustards. It's very easy. You can use Dijon mustard or you can use a freshly ground mustard powder also. Add a pinch of it like quarter teaspoon. Little bit of pepper powder. Half a juice of uh, lemon or lime juice. One tablespoon of uh, vinegar. You can add approximately 50 ml of oil for one egg yolk. So I've got around 100 ml of uh, oil here. Before I go ahead and start making this, I want to explain you very simple that mayonnaise is an emulsification of oil and the egg yolk and vinegar and uh, lime juice. So you have to be very careful. If you do not do it right, your mayonnaise will curdle. But we will find a solution in case our mayonnaise curdle, what we need to do. So all you need to do is take a whisk and mix it. And to this, add half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now this mixture is ready. So all we need to do is add oil. If you add entire oil at one time, this is going to curdle. So you have to pour drop by drop and then make this mayonnaise. So I'm going to make it. I'm going to on one side, I'm going to hold this and slowly add. At the same time, continuously whisk and whisk it in one direction. In between, stop and make sure that the oil disappear. Okay. And then slowly pour the oil. To make mayonnaise, traditionally we use salad oil or uh, you use olive oil. So you can use a combination of little bit of olive oil and salad oil. If not, you can use any oil, like I'm using corn oil, which is double refined. Any oil that doesn't have any smell, you can use. Do not use the virgin oils of peanut or sesame seed. It won't smell good. Okay. See, your mayonnaise is ready. And it's become nice, thick mayonnaise and ready. See, look at this, how it will form peaks. So our mayonnaise is ready. See the beauty about making your own mayonnaise is it tastes really really awesome. Now what happens if your mayonnaise get curdled? So are you going to throw it away? No. So for just for the fun of it, I'm going to curdle this mayonnaise. It's very easy to curdle. Pour a little extra oil and then just mix it a little bit. Look, a little bit of curdle. If you can see this mayonnaise is curdled because I added a lot of oil. You can see the traces of oil separating out from this mixture. Let's assume that while you are making, you curdled it like this. See, you can see 
it's becoming watery and uh, the oil is separating it out. So you don't have to throw it and you can reuse this mixture by starting the entire process again. So I'm going to pour this back. So a lot of times uh, when people curdle this, they throw it away, do not throw it away, just put it in another bowl. We're going to treat this just as oil and we're going to start the process again. Here is fresh egg yolk. A pinch of mustard powder, a little bit of pepper powder, vinegar, a little bit of lime or lemon juice. Mix this up. Instead of using oil, all you're going to do is you're going to take this curdle mayonnaise and add little by little and then mix it. See, now we are getting a perfect mayonnaise. Today, we not only learn how to make mayonnaise, but also how to rectify a curdled mayonnaise and reuse so that you don't waste. See, now it's becoming really thick. I'm going to use the entire of this. You know, it has to become thick and then you add a little more. See, look at this. Beautiful mayonnaise. All you need to do is take a bread, use this mayonnaise as a nice uh, coating for your croissants, any kind of sandwiches, you can make cocktail sauce. Wow! Lot of times in five star hotels, you know, for the vegetable sandwiches, we always use mayonnaise. But I always wondered whether the customer who wants to eat only vegetarian knew that there is egg that is involved in making mayonnaise. So dear friends, I hope I have not scared my strict vegetarians by showing you how the mayonnaise is made. But when you have this mayonnaise this way, it is really, really good. But for the vegetarians, you can also buy mayonnaise where egg is not used. But make sure you read the ingredients because most of the mayonnaise that is available in the market, they use egg substitutes and egg powders that is used in making mayonnaise. So we are going to make many more dishes using this mayonnaise. Just be tuned with your washup at whatever.com. I hope you have enjoyed to learn this session of making mayonnaise with your washup. But remember, whatever is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking.